I am delighted to be working with my favourite bank again, Starling Bank. I was a customer of theirs long before I began working with them. So this is a great collaboration for me. And today I am going to be sharing five tips to save money during lockdown for those of you who want to style and refresh and transform their homes. So lots of us are in our homes a lot more than usual, kind of more than we have in generations, in fact, um, and probably a lot more aware of where needs a bit of love and attention, where is bothering you or annoying you, um, and you're, you might just be itching for a change. Um, but not all of us have the funds available to us to do that at the moment. So I wanted to share some real budget friendly, uh, free, in some cases, tips to really help you to transform the feel of your home. Okay, so the first one, number one, is to shop your home. Treat your home like you're going shopping. This helps you to have the, a really useful external perspective and actually look twice at some of the items that you'll be walking past every day and not even noticing. So one of the ways that you can really transform things is, just, is, is to literally move things around. So that can be small things like um, lamps or cushions, uh, pillows, things like that, or bigger things like moving an armchair into a different room, um, creating a gallery wall with art from that you already had in your home. Um, so yeah, shop your home. And another tip as well in terms of shopping your home is to look in your shared and basement and storage areas for old paint samples and um, bits of wood and things that you might be able to use to create a new shelf or, or a cabinet or perhaps paint something that you already have that could do with a little bit of a refresh. Okay, so that's my first tip. My second tip is to declutter. So getting rid of the excess stuff in our homes can have the most astonishing effect on how it feels. I know it's not as sexy as moving pillows and cushions around, but dealing with our clutter is more transformative. Trust me on that. So now might be a good time to get a couple of boxes on the go of things you want to sell, things you need to you, you want to donate when lockdown is over. Um, and you might even need to be just discarding, just throwing stuff away that's broken, beyond repair, past its best. Um, and just really use this time to create a bit of space in your home. Okay, number three is to use the time also to do a bit of soul searching um, to figure out what your style is. So lots of us are very influenced by the high street adverts, what we see on Instagram. Um, and I think it's really important to know what your unique style is. And now is a good time to delve into that a bit. So my favorite way to do this is with Pinterest. So this works whether you already have hundreds of interiors Pinterest boards or you've never used it before. So if you've never used it before, pin, just start pinning images that you absolutely love, okay? So get at least 30 to 50. Um, so those of you who have already got interiors Pinterest boards, you don't need to do that. But then the second step is to have a secret board. Um, you can hear my children screaming in the background. Hello, lockdown life. Um, a secret board where you pin, go back through your boards and only pin your absolute fave images, like the, the top of the top, okay? So this practice really helps you to be really discerning about what it is that you love in, in an interior style. And therefore, it's much easier to make decisions about what's right for your home, your family, and what makes you happy, okay? So do a bit of style analysis. Um, Okay, so my fourth tip is to wait. It might be tempting to fill your home with quick and cheap things because it gives you that initial thrill of a change. Um, but I think it's better to live with an empty space than to fill your home with something that you might regret later. Okay, so save if you can. So I wanted to show you how I use my Starling Spaces account. So what this is one of my favorite features about Starling. Um, and it's basically, you can have as many savings pots as you want, they're called spaces. And whatever you put in that pot does not show up in your overall balance. It is genius, it's completely transformed how I save. Okay, so here is here are my um, spaces. Let me just see, can you see? 
Um, so you'll see I've got things on there. I've got a fund for art and um, some guard. I've got a garden fund. Um, I, I want some pretty knives. If you know, you know. Um, and what else have I got on here? Oh, some storage boxes that I've seen that are beautiful, but a bit pricey. Um, so I, it, it's much sweeter to shop like this, to give yourself a bit of time to marinate and make sure it's something that you really want. Um, and the Starling um, savings pots just make it really simple. Just take the guesswork out, okay? My fifth and final tip is once you have identified the holes in your home where you know that you need to refresh or change or buy something is to give your money to the independent shops if you can and the vintage ones and the secondhand ones, all of which are still operating online in some way. So it is tempting to, to, to go with the giant retailers and sometimes it's fine to do that. Um, but I think at the moment, independent brands really need our support. So if you have identified a need or a gap, something that needs sorting in your home, check out online secondhand selling sites, of which there are lots. Um, check out local selling sites um, and also go to your favorite independent brands and find out what's available there. Okay, so they are my five tips to transform the feel of your home. Uh, good luck.